Hi guys, it's Emery, and it's morning time, so you're welcome. I am making an update because I am over eight months on testosterone, and um, that's what we do around here. Got my guitar strung. I have some questions in my Tumblr ask box. Your job? what you do on a daily basis, your relationship status, if you're interested in someone, living arrangements, what music you like, how school was when you were in it, hobbies. All right, all right, all right, all right, slow down. Well, I work in a coffee shop. I think most of the people who follow me know that because I talk about it a lot on Transtastic. I do, I work in a um, small business in my little Southern California town. I'm a barista. I play with espresso, which is cool, and tea. Um, on a daily basis, I meditate. That's like my favorite part of my day. I do meditations from the Dharma Seed. Um, I like Tara Brock, Noah Levine, um, Steve Armstrong. Yep, them's my favorites. I play my guitar, go to work when I need to like to garden. Some of my friends have a garden. We have a local garden that we can plant stuff in. Um, I write. I write a lot. And I hang out with my friends. I hang out with Terry. It's my roomie. My relationship status is I was single for two months or something like that. It was like October 9th, I think we broke up. So, three months. Wait, October, November, December, January. Yeah, it's been three months since we broke up. That's like from a journal entry I wrote. I didn't mark my calendar. I am talking to someone. Is that a status? I mean, you know, I'm not one for labels. Living arrangements. I, I bounce back and forth. I mean, I live here. This is my apartment. That's my roommate's painting on the wall back there. Um, and then, you know, sometimes I stay with Audra. We've got like a little cozy little commune going on over there a little bit. There's like a garden and, and a sauna and it's, it's Audra's house, but I like to stay with her because I love her. Whoops. How was school when I was in it? Well, I was good in school until middle school, which junior high, sixth grade to eighth grade here in California, in this part. I don't know. It's different everywhere, isn't it? I came out as queer in the seventh grade. So you can imagine how lovely preteens can be to each other. So that's not my best memory of school. But, you know, I found love at a very young age, so I think that that's a nice thing. I've had a lot of time to grow in that. <laughs> High school, I, I dropped out junior year and took a year off and then went back to continuation and graduated. But I, I went to rehab in the middle of high school. Yeah. <laughs> High school's all really a blur for me. There was a lot of drama... And there was a lot of good times, too. I had some really close friends in high school, and we all, we were just a tornado for each other. Um, but I do have a lot of good memories about high school. And I'm still friends with most of those people, I think. We're Facebook friends. Does that count? My hobbies are playing guitar, writing. I would like to have more, like, outdoorsy hobbies. But I don't drive. I ride a bicycle. That could totally be added to my resolution of what I want to do. I, I want to learn, like, like manly, woodsy hobbies. Like, you know, I, I've been fishing. I can fish, but I want to get better. I want to know, like, what everything's called and how to do it and, like, how to, like, live in the wilderness and, like, that kind of stuff. I want to go camping a lot. I think I'm going camping this summer in Hungary. The last question, uh, testosterone. I got sick this winter 
<clears throat> so it's hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure that my voice is, this is where it is right now, which is awesome. It is, I did, I just wake up like two hours ago, but like I've had my tea and I've been singing a little bit. So I think this is where my voice is for right now. Uh, I knew, I, I do know that it's not finished yet. My beard is coming in. This is like four days of not shaving. It's not really coming in on my upper lip just yet. But it's kind of coming right here next because I'm kind of missing like these. And then there's like bumps. So. My stomach is a jungle. Yep, and my hips are going. I said a few videos ago, I don't know if it was on Transtastic or here, but I was like so bitter. I was like, my hips aren't changing and, and like super mad about it and frustrated. But I have gone down two pant sizes and like look at these pants right now. <laughs> these are my long johns, by the way. But these pants just belt doesn't fit me anymore muscle mass I'm not really working out I'm just doing yoga because I really don't um, want like to get too beefy um, not that I would I'm not sure but I feel like I was getting more like yoked the more I worked out and I and I more want to be toned my, my legs are a lot hairier, and yeah, I'm a hairy mountain man. What are you most looking forward to in the future with changes? At the risk of sounding like a broken record, played by millions of people across the world, top surgery, top surgery, top surgery. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good in my skin. I'm passing a lot more. People at work are switching pronouns, like, random customers that don't know me that well. I don't know if they don't recognize me or they just, you know, whatever. They 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 switch gender pronouns. And, you know, my body's changing, the hair's growing, I'm excited, you know, my my hips are are slimming. I just I feel good. And um I feel good about the way my brain's working. I'm not a different person than I was. I've grown and um, I just, I can't wait to just be, yeah, and so I, I'm looking into top surgery. <sighs> I mean, you already know the answer to that. With the changes that have been happening, I, I can't believe how, like I know myself, I, I know myself through like, as a, as a poet, and that this may only make sense if you're a poet, if you're a writer. Like my writing style, we're killing each other. My writing style hasn't changed. I write about this person, you know, and that's, and that's me, like the story of me and my experiences and these people that I come across. And it's, it's very self, um, my writing. I'm sorry if this isn't making sense, but the more I transition the more I realize that this obscure what used to be an obscure idea of who I could be in an in the next lifetime or something like that is is who I'm becoming and it's just this amazing thing like all of these things are opening up to me that I never even took a second look at because I blocked it off because it was like, I can't do that. These are things that I didn't feel comfortable doing presenting as female. And not that females can't do them, but I was just so uncomfortable. Like I just thought I'm gonna, I'm gonna just compromise and I didn't. So I'm looking forward to these changes, these, this, this hair and this voice and this body and this chest when it's mine 
and traveling and going camping and climbing and building fires and, you know, sex and rock and roll. And this hair is just out of control. It is growing and growing. So, this Tuesday on Transtastic, it's going to be me and T-Balls, T-Shizzle, Terry, talking about revolution. Nope. Talking about dads, being them, having them, hating them, loving them. Tune into that. So, eight months on T.